Greetings and welcome to Mary is the New Evangelization.com, where uh, we look at things from Mary's perspective. And Mary's perspective uh, can be found by studying her apparitions, such as Fatima, Portugal in 1917, or Guadalupe, Mexico in 1531, or Lords or not. I mean, it, it, the list goes on and on where Ma Mary has appeared, Medjugorje, uh, Nagasaki, I mean, I mean, Japan. So, yeah, you can learn about the Blessed Mother. You could read about her by saints like Maximilian Kolbe, who died in the Russian, in the uh, German concentration camp. Uh, St. Louis de Montfort. You can learn about Mary. You can also have a personal relationship with Mary. So we're coming at this from her perspective. Okay? Her perspective. Now, this cross here is known as the San Damiano Cross. Okay? And on his stomach is an embedded phallic symbol. Okay, now it's on every single cross, okay? So just Google San Damiano Cross. If you can't see it here, it's very easy to be seen. Now, I what I always liked about this cross was that Jesus wasn't alone at the crucifixion. Okay. I thought that was cool. Now you can see how detailed this icon is. There's angels. There's all this detail. There's a rooster. Father Scanlon pointed out. There's a rooster on here. There's people. There's talking. There's what's on his shoulders here, crawling like over his. You know, what is that? Hair doesn't look like that. He wasn't wearing braids back then. Okay, so there's a lot of detail. So when you've considered the fact, there's a lot of detail. And then you have this ridiculously unanatomically correct phallic symbol that has no detail whatsoever. It's just big, rude, and obnoxious sitting on his chest. So that's what, but that's what the ancient idol looked like. It, it looked like an uh, exaggerated penis with and testicles. That's what. Is on here okay so that right there is enough reason to immediately take down these images immediately take down the images okay or you want to brush over it brush over it okay but say an exorcism prayer when you're brushing over it we see now with Saint Muerta in Mexico how they're taking Our Lady of Guadalupe and putting a, a skeleton-like figure in place of Our Lady. So the devil does like to get involved in art. You know, he you got to remember the devil can't physically encounter us. But he can mentally encounter it. There's no, there's no barrier there. You know, your thought life is clearly up for grabs. So, uh, <clears throat> anyway, that's the battle. That's, you know, that's really the battle. And Jesus is also in that spiritual realm, as well as Mary and St. Michael. So, you're dealing with, you know, the spiritual realm, which is heavy, it's really their battle. It's not your battle or my battle. It's their battle. It's God's battle and Satan. We're part of their battle. And we have a free will whose side we're on. But that's pretty much it. You know, everybody's got to choose what side they're on. And then, once everybody has chosen, then we, then we get the parting of the Red Sea. Okay, and you guys be on your way, and we'll be on our way. 
but I am going to stand for covering up Jesus Christ. You don't you don't do that. Okay, I'm I am a man. I am a man. Okay, I guarantee I'm a man. Because I have one of these, okay? So the point is clearly uh, Jesus on the cross was he was in agony and pain, physical pain, obviously, and a deep emotional pain. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? So can you imagine God telling God that you forsook me? You know, like that is betrayal in the Trinity. Uh, you know, I mean, that's a strong statement. Wow. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? You know, so how are you going to interpret that? Okay, are you going to interpret that that Jesus was just really angry at his father, or was it more of a self hatred? You know, more of a, a feeling of, you know, rejection, that, that he had been rejected because of his sins. You know, Jesus was being treated like a sinner should be treated. And so that's why he felt the rejection, because a sinner feels rejected. They feel rejected by God because they're not in God's kingdom. You know, they feel rejected. You're not, you know, you, you can't be living a sinful life deliberately and think you're in God's kingdom. You're not. You're clearly not in God's kingdom. So, all I can do is ask. I, all I can do is ask, okay? Okay. All I can do is ask. Okay, I'm asking. I, Tomasio, am asking for all Christians to stand against this idol. This is an idol. This has a phallic symbol, which is a pagan god. And this is a, a direct worship of a pagan phallic god on the cross of Jesus Christ. Okay. Now, if somebody wants to refute this, I'm I'm waiting to hear your refutation. But so far, nobody nobody has said a word. This cross, I'm telling you, people, is is channeling demons. Okay. So that's that's it. You either for me or against me.